application to get the result of. Okay, 18 seconds left on the clock. Ms. Maji has yet to shoot. She's coming to full draw. Nine. Here it goes. Seven, six, five. Now we hear it. Four. And it's a seven. Five, seven. So now Miss Lynn has the advantage by two points in this set, and four to two is the score for set play. That was unfortunate. Miss Maji had the opportunity to reverse the current situation, but that's what makes champions taking advantage of those opportunities. Because she still has a chance. She still has a chance, one folks. So the result of Deepika Kumari, that's to answer the question we have received. She lost today in the 116 elimination final against Ki Yu Hong from China. It was 6-4. What she lost so was in in the five sets. Yeah. And just Let me just interrupt you for yes, a second. George? Um it Origini, is uh, a 4-2 advantage for Choi Misun right now versus Kibo Bay. 4-2. Unofficially. So yeah, um, Deepika Kumari, she's, uh, she's been such a great shooter for a long time. She first made her statement on the international scene, it was a 2009 cadet champ the World Youth Championship cadet category win, right? Yep. Um, and then she was at a very high level for a while, and then she fell off the scene for a while. And made a comeback afterward. Yes. Uh, you got some insight on that. I, she I <laughs> yes, I'm, I've seen Deepika following in the, in the circuit. She has been a shining star. And when we start our World Cup, she grew with uh, the World Cup circuit started. And she became uh, one of the, the, the fixed finalists in, in World Cup. And then we went uh, to the Olympic Games in London, and there was a huge pressure, huge expectation. India expected a medal there, and she didn't perform in the level everybody was expecting, and for sure she was expected. And after that, she has a, a struggle to come back. She was not feeling confident. She was not feeling as inspired as before. Suddenly, as we talked before this morning, the game starts to be hard, and you have to digest this, this Olympic uh, failure of this situation that that you had in the Olympic Games that was not expected and you suffer it. What is very positive is after a year and a half she was not feeling right. Uh, all the decisions how to fix it has been taken and she has go back to her initial way of training in the uh, in the city where she was training Jam Chup Dur and came back, came back very strong this year, this season, from the beginning. And it's very, very glad for all of us seeing the one we admire, how she shoots, and the talent she has to see her back in the circuit. And of course, losing the 16th final World Championship can happen. 6-4 proved that she is ready, she's back, and she's getting ready for the Olympic Games in Rio. And hopefully, she will take this bad taste of London out in Rio. Yeah. She deserves it. Yeah. And she has the talent, and she worked very hard. Great image for our sport, too. So, she lost in 116, answered the question from our fans. And 6 4 was a match against China. And for sure, she's not happy, but she has learned for sure and will be stronger the next one. Here comes Lee, uh, Miss Lynn. And oh, actually, she just let down. She came to full draw. She was about to shoot and she let down. It's interesting. The previous match, when he saw her, she was so secure and determined that you could see confidence yeah. in each of them. And here it's like she has it. Yeah. And the next set, ooh, yeah. she's in a the previous bit. set, she had it. Now yes. she's. It's going and coming. Yeah. I wonder what the cause is. Well, we know the cause. <laughs> Pressure. Pressure, adrenaline. Here it goes, and it's a 10. Good. Yeah, her first shots have been solid. Good start. But then she's tended to be in the nine ring for her other shots, so it'll be interesting to see. Here comes our archer from India on target two. Miss Maji with a nine. Back over to target one, and Miss Lin, she a child of Chinese Taipei. I went to uh, Chinese Taipei this past uh, summer, last year, to announce at the Asian Championship event there, and was very impressed with the program that they have in Chinese Taipei. It's a very strong program. Strong program, and they are trying to start a professional league okay, with nine company teams. For India, and a uh, nine 
for Chinese Taipei, so we have a draw. They have the archers, they have good coaches, they have facilities, and they have a program, a federation focus on doing what has to be done. And now they're trying to start a kind of com competition in a professional league like Korea has or like Chinese has. China, sorry. So they are doing what has to be done to be in the top, and you can see the results here. Okay, a draw for that set. So Miss Lin has five, Miss Maji has three. Miss Maji has to outright win the next set in order to force the shoot off. Correct. George, here we are. People can see us. Good. With our with our fila uniform. Yes. <laughs> here they are. Good. <laughs> you can see we are just on the side of the of the field of play. We can see the archers. We can see the screen. The our laptop to interact with the, the audience. Got my spotting scope spotting and, scope uh, and uh, my my electronic gear so here we are and thank you the tv producer thank you for showing us maybe we shouldn't show all this because now they know we have no excuse because <laughs> we have all this support totally right <laughs> but we still sound the way we do okay let's move to the production <laughs> thank you very much all right scores are uh, Guess what? We've got the same situation over on the other uh, match right now. It's 5-3 in favor of uh, Choi Misun of Korea. And so we have the same situation in the other match that we are currently enjoying in this one. Talk about of technology. It is flicking you see now on the screen yep. of the lot board. This is electricity things, you know, when well, you have power and syn synchronizing the cameras. Yeah, it has to do with the camera. It has to do with the CCD, the charged coupled device on Correct. the camera because LEDs or LCDs, LEDs and LCDs strobe. So yes. the human eye doesn't see this. The human because eye doesn't see all that. Oh, very fast. Yeah. And we are used to see this when it's slow and you see it's three or four and our, our brain generates this image. But so in the cameras we have taken in a sequence, sending a sequence and if it's not the same you are seeing this flickering. Sometimes you see the same effect if you look at a camera image of a wheel of a car rolling yes. and sometimes it looks like it's standing still and even going backwards a little bit. It's the same phenomenon. Yep, correct. So just be assured, the archers aren't seeing that on the field of play. Yes. What you're seeing it's on your this flickering on your is, not happening. is not happening. And sometimes we can see it when it's a slow motion images. When yes. you slow motion, you see they're happening. Yeah. In more professional cameras, you can adjust this, and you can see some sport event that they adjust the the frequency of the, and you go in the same way that you read it when it's produced, so you don't see the flickering. One of the but things here, making it possible to bring this to you is the use of these robotic cameras. Correct. Okay, Here we, we go. have explained a bit of technology of the flickering, and we go back to the match. Was that a question that came up on the... Uh, no, on that was just yes, something I made up. Well, that was a good good question to answer. <laughs> I pay you There's a, a nine <laughs> just out. That, that would be annoying if you could see it in the real world, you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if you're full drawn, you got that going on. Here comes Miss Lin again. Now, just remember, when we go to the finals, um, and you've got okay. the Archery TV team and Carl doing the commentary, you're going to see these alternating. It'll be alternate shooting. Totally right now, right. we've got simultaneous shooting because we're in the uh, open, open format competition, as it were. So, okay, wow. nice solid 10x ring from the archer from India. George, as a coach, you see that she had a good expansion, a good shot, but then she has a tendency to move the arm, the bow arm, to a direction. She's not giving it like like the standard says. She move a little bit. With the, I think she has a feeling that it's not center aim, and she's trying to correct. But it's interesting she doesn't correct it fast. She make a good expansion, and then she correct later. I predict we're going to have a shoot-off here if she can keep it together for the next two shots. 
That's a nine. nine. All she needs is one more arrow in the gold, and we will have a shoot-off. Just a shot in the gold. Anything less than that, it's victory for Miss Lynn. An arrow in the gold, and we will have a one-arrow shoot-off to decide this match. You really want a shoot-off, eh, George? Well, doesn't everyone. <laughs> Never say die. Ah, <laughs> unfortunately, an eight. I was really hoping that uh, she would be able to keep it together for that, but Miss Lynn is the winner with a six-set point win. Meanwhile, let's go take a look at the target of the two Korean teammates to see which one of them will be shooting for gold. And Kibo Bay with a 10-10-10. We are going to have a shoot-off down on targets 11 and 12. Korea will have a shoot-off. So you got your shoot-off. Okay, but it's far away. And it's what you say. Remember when it started, you say, I, I predict this to be a shoot-off. I did predict a shoot-off, yes. I get, no, I get no bonus. Can you give me Can you double my salary? Yeah. Can you give me six numbers, just one more, please? 